Beyonce and Jay-Z in the launch for Tiffany's About Love campaign Tiffany's Tiffany & Company has launched a new campaign about modern love featuring Beyonce and Jay-Z with a Basquiat painting as a backdrop. Titled Equals Pie, 1982, the long unseen turquoise painting is meant to recall the luxury retailer's signature shade of blue. Before appearing in the new Tiffany campaign, the painting, which features the artist's recognizable skulls and scrawled text with phrases such as such as Amorite, 10 yen and dunce had been owned by two other jewelry moguls, Italian designers Alberto and Stefania Sabadini. It had been spotted inside their Milan apartment, alongside other works by Andy Warhol, George Kondo, Anselm Kiefer, Damien Hirst, Cindy Sherman, and Renee Negri. Related articles The family purchased it in 1996 during the Sotheby's London auction for nearly $253,000. According to a report by WWD, the Sabadinis recently sold it privately to the luxury jewelry brand for an unknown sum. It's really incredible that Tiffany found the only painting that had a reference to Tiffany, says Basquiat collector Larry Wash who is familiar with painting from previous museum exhibitions. It's an amazing collaboration and a really important work from that series. In the Tiffany ad, Beyoncé wears an all-black diamond-studded Balmain look that is inspired by Audrey Hepburn's dress in the 1961 film Breakfast at Tiffany's. Jay-Z, meanwhile, dons clothes intended to mimic Basquiat's outfit when he appeared on the cover of New York Magazine, 1985. The Carter's affection for Basquiat has been well documented. The Brooklyn-born rapper purchased the Basquiat painting Mecca, 1982, in 2013 at Sotheby's for $4.2 million. That work depicts the New York landscape with the word Empire scrawled across the top underneath the artist's signature crown. The advertisement is part of a larger Tiffany's campaign exploring modern love. For the project, Beyoncé and Jay-Z collaborated with Emmanuel J a director who worked on Beyoncé's visual album Black is King, to produce a short film. As a brand that had always stood for love, strength and self-expression, we could not think of a more iconic couple that better represents Tiffany's values, said Alexander Arno, executive vice president of product and communications, in a statement. At the start of the year, the brand was acquired by the luxury conglomerate LVMH, which restructured its management and creative teams to revamp the historic jewelry house. The campaign is set to officially launch on September 2nd, followed by an accompanying print edition and film produced for the project. Visuals and additional media made for the campaign will be released throughout the year. As part of the collaboration with the Carters, Tiffany & Company has pledged to give $2 million to fund scholarship and internship programs for historically black colleges and universities.